morning, everybody. Welcome to Ask Coffee Online. As you already seen, we're trying a new technology this morning. Some students have a little trouble logging in, so bear with us. In the meantime, you know, hi, everybody. And uh, this is going to be better. You know, once everybody learns how to use this, it's going to be nice. You're going to really like this. Uh, it's a better system than we used before. You're going to be able to, you know, talk to me. There's a speaker in the office when you guys talk. I'm going to be able to listen to you instead of, you know, the camera person reading the questions off to, to me. It's going to be a little more personal, so you guys are going to like this, but, you know, we'll give us a few more minutes. We have some students trying to log in, and uh, today we're going to do rabbits, so maybe some of you never had it, but it's a, it's a good protein. It's really tasty, and uh, we're gonna, I want to show you how to break it down, so I don't want to start any, any preparation until we have a few more students log in, but in the meantime, how are you guys doing out there? Nobody? Dave? We got Dave uh, and Sasha logged in. Can you guys hear me? My mic is on. Good morning, guys. Do I, have, I think they have a chat box that they can type in too, right? Chef Caesar, can you hear me? Yes, good morning, Chef. How are you? I'm doing good. Just making sure you had your audio turned on. Uh, I think it's on. Yeah, I have it on. I can, I can, I can hear you, and you can hear me. So, we'll Wonderful. just have the students turn their their microphones on. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Once they get to know how to use the system, they're really gonna enjoy it. I think. Good morning, Kim. Can you hear me? Can you send a message to turn the microphone on or? Really, that's nice. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. How are you this morning? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Nice. Uh, bear with us. Uh, we're trying a new system. This is going to be really good. Uh, once everybody knows how to use this, it's going to be really nice. We've got a speaker here in the studio. Now you don't have to type in your questions, and uh, it's going to be much personal. So once we get you know rolling here, you guys are going to like this much better. Okay. And today, so you know, we're doing rabbit. I don't know if you ever try rabbit or you're brave enough to cook it, but this, uh, we're gonna make something nice today. Anybody else join us yet? Okay. I think Sam is still helping other students trying to get into the site. Okay, well, let's get going here. I think we have some other students trying to log in, but you know, let's uh, get going here so that way you know, they can catch with us. We're gonna do rabbit preparation this morning, and I have a whole rabbit. This is about two pounds. You can buy them frozen at your local supermarket. Maybe you go hunting, I don't know. If you live in an area where you hunt rabbits, you can do this, and uh, I have it in the brine. I left it in the brine overnight. What it does when you put it in the brine, it helps to take some of the game this flavor away, and also it's gonna keep, help to keep the meat moist when you cook it. See, rabbits are very lean meat, and it has, it's high in protein, more than chicken, it has less fat than chicken. So, and the taste is real mild. People sometimes are kind of, you know, 
turn off when I hit the rabbit. But you know, if you do it right, you can make it uh, many different ways. I'm gonna just uh, pan fry the loins and the tenderloins today. And uh, you can do with the, the tough uh, parts of the meat, you can make braise them, make a stew, because they take a little longer to cook. And you don't wanna actually overcook it too long, about 155 to 160. It's a proper temperature to cook rabbit. And uh, again, there's so many different ways you can do it. And it's, it's a good uh, dish if you, you know, like rabbit, maybe. If you never had it, try it one of these days. Now I'm gonna, you know, kinda, I'm gonna drain this uh, brine out of here so we can start, you know, cutting it down. Okay. I wanna show you how to, you know, cut the rabbit down into proper cuts, okay? It's really easy. So we're gonna put it in here. I'm gonna try it. Dry it kind of nice so that it's not too wet. And it already comes clean. There's no inners. It's really clean. Cabber is nice and clean. The head's taken off. So uh, initially, this is how you buy it. It's about two pounds, like I said. It's a nice sized rabbit. And uh, okay. All right, let's get going here. We're going to start by taking the hind legs off here. And this is like uh, pretty much like Breaking down the chicken, it's really, you know, similar. And a good way to know where the joint is, you wanna kinda put it like fat on its belly, and you wanna uh, push up a little bit the legs, and you're gonna hear a popping sound. You know, this is where the joint, the leg joint hits the hip bone. So you're gonna just go around there, you see? And it's gonna, okay. Okay, the same thing on the other side, okay. 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 Now we go on the front legs too. Go right underneath. Okay. Okay. Another one. As you can see, this is very easy. You pretty much follow the natural joints of the rabbit. Now we're gonna take the hip bone off, right back here. Make sure you don't cut into the tenderloins. This is a uh, nice cut of meat, the tenderloins. You don't wanna cut them. You wanna go right where the end. Just go down, okay. Now we're gonna cut the, uh, you see the ribs right here, okay? Go right with the last rib is and, and go in there. Cause we're gonna cut the, these are the loins right here, from back here. So you can see if you flip it over, you can see where to cut. You can even, you know. So maybe use some chef knife, it's a little. Okay. There you go. Now I'm gonna chop the, right where the neck used to be. Okay, and I'm gonna clean this uh, saddle right here. This is a nice cut of meat. You wanna uh, split it in half all the way. I'm gonna move this out of the way here so you see it. It's like a little racks, like a, you're gonna see a nice. Okay, look at that. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, this is what it looks like. Kind of putting it back together in perspective, see. It's a whole rabbit right there. I'm gonna put this aside here. I'm gonna trim this off right here. And you can cook it like this, brace you know, the, the pieces and make a stew, but I'm gonna you know, go one more step farther and, and take off the tenderloins and the, and the loins back here. Be careful when you do that. You're gonna, you don't wanna take too much meat off of there. And some of these are already taken out. The tenderloins are pretty much gone here. I don't see much meat left. Normally they're a little longer, they got more meat in there, but they're really, they cut them off already. Look at that. Now you're gonna flip it over. Run your knife right along the spine here. Be careful when you do that, you wanna just Okay. 
You can feel your knife rubbing against the bone. That's what it should look like. Otherwise, you're gonna take too much meat off. Okay. Okay. There you go. Nice. So yeah, there's one. I'm gonna do another one. We can peel it right here. <laughs> so you can see, take it off. You can save these bones to, you know, make a stock. If you make a stew, you can, you know, put them in there for extra flavor. Okay. Take the silver skin off here. Okay. I'm gonna just okay, so over here I'm gonna be cooking those in a little bit. And these I'm gonna just put aside over here. All my pieces. As you can see it's very quick to break it down. It's like you know, cut it down to chicken pretty much. This is a little tiny pen loins. Wipe down my cutting board up here. Now let's uh, fix this. We're gonna French this uh, tiny ribs here. Okay, you see this? You kind of push them up right through the Skin. Okay. Look at that. Nice, beautiful ribs. Look at that. Let's take this. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Be careful, sometimes they break. They're very fragile. So you kind of do one at a time here. See, I just broke a couple of them there. Okay. It's very delicate work when you're doing this because the ribs are so fragile, the bones are so tiny and they can break really easy. So you wanna be extra careful. Okay. I'm gonna cut it right here, okay. It has to be a little. Right down the middle. I'm gonna cut these bones off here. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. You end up with nice. Nice rack. You always want to use your paring knife because it's very delicate here. again and cut down there you go nice rack there The 
same thing over here. There you go. It's another one. You can save all this uh, little scraps to like put on your stock, and you, if you're making the stock, mix a nice sauce too. Let's wipe down the cutting board so we can start cooking this uh, tiny pieces. And we're gonna pan fry them. I'm making a uh, pan sauce with some uh, port wine and some uh, citrus juice here. Okay, let's go. So here. As you can see, this cooks really quick, okay? So we got this little tiny racks here. As you can see, I broke some of these bones, so be very careful. Be extra careful, okay? Okay. All right, now let's uh, get this going here. I'm gonna start my pan here. Got some olive oil, a couple ounces. Okay. If you guys have any questions along the way, please let me know. Here we go. Now we're gonna. We want to cook this until they're nice and golden brown. Make sure not to overcook them. Okay, especially this. This are going to cook really quick, so I want to put those last. Okay. I got all my ingredients I'm gonna be using to make my sauce. I got some shallots, some uh, orange juice with some uh, lemon juice, and also some uh, orange zest. I got some veal demi, some butter, some pork wine I got over here. This is gonna be a really uh, easy sauce to make here. Okay. You can see there's real beautiful pieces, look at that. Now you see me, my whole face. Ah, ha, okay. <laughs> nice, I'm happy that you got able to join us. Uh -oh. oh, God. Now he can tell. Now do I eat. Oh, this is great. <laughs> it's going to be like this every, every month, do you say? Okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there? Now, can I turn that off? Let's do it from now on. Let me check your audio. No, my picture. <laughs> yeah, I can see you very well. Now it's another, it says. How are you guys doing? Everything going good out there for you guys? It's still working because I can tell with the arrow moving. Wow, you're the best. I can talk to you now because there's a lot of people on this screen. Okay. 
here. I'm going to be making a pan sauce here for you guys. Autumn, it has new video. So every Tuesday, when I come, it's ready to go. Please this oil here. What does that mean? Now I'm making a pan sauce here for you guys. Put my shallots in there. If you guys need to add a little more oil, that's fine too. Okay, now next time I want to close it. Well, it's the light is blinking, that's all I want. Next time. Okay, have a good day. I got my shallot saute in here, the olive oil. I'm going to replace my pan with some port wine here. So we're making a pan sauce here with the sediments here. Orange sets too here. Make sure when you're making a pan sauce, you scrape the bottom of the pan. You want to get all those uh, nice flavor stuck in there from searing the meat in the pan. Okay. Got my veal dammit here. There you go. One little sprig of fresh thyme. There you go. Now, oh, in the meantime, let's start. Let's reduce the sauce a little bit down. I'm also going to start cooking some pinchetta here. I'm going to do some uh, cannellini beans with some uh, leeks and some pancetta bacon here, which is an Italian bacon. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do pancetta in our next uh, live session here. Salt in my sauce, a little black pepper. Okay. And pancetta, for those of you guys that never had it, it's like a, it's the equivalent of our bacon, it's the Italian bacon. Uh, it's done a little bit different. I'm gonna uh, talk about that in the next live session, but this has a really nice, uh, nice flavor. It works like bacon, you wanna you know, you can't eat it raw, it's, uh, it has, has to be cooked. And uh, it has a nice uh, flavor, nice taste. And like I said, I want to show you how to make pancetta next, our next live session here. So keep an eye on your sauce here. You want to reduce it down a little bit more. Let's see. Wow, nice and citrusy. I got some cannellini beans already, you know, pretty cooked, and some uh, braised some cook some braised leeks here. Okay. And this smells wonderful when you're cooking this. It's great. Maybe some of you guys already had it, so you know what I'm talking about. Then when I add a little butter, whole butter to the sauce to you know make it nice and shiny, I was just gonna uh, thicken up the sauce a little bit more. So, but you don't do that until you're ready to serve the sauce. Okay. All right, my pancetta is nice and getting crispy. I'm gonna add some leeks.
And we cook them with pan cheddar. Be careful with not adding too much salt. It's pretty salty. It's, it's pure. So it has a lot of salt right in the meat. And uh, make sure that you... Okay. There you go. It's real nice. You don't have to add any any salt really. So I got my beans and my braised leeks ready to go. I'm gonna finish up the sauce over here. Do you guys have any questions? What do you think so far? Really easy, right? Okay. We also want to strain the sauce before we put it on the plate, okay? So, because uh, we have all the, you know, our shallots in there, the thyme. You don't want to. You want to have a nice, uh, smooth sauce when you, when you serve it. Okay. Need some spoons here. Want to reduce it down a little more. Some whole butter here. As you can see it thickens up a little more, it's gonna be nice and shiny. Okay. All right. All right, now I'm gonna strain my sauce. It's a really nice citrus flavor with a little sweetness from the port wine. Okay, make sure you squeeze all of it from the shallots. There you go. All right, now I want to put the sauce to the side. I'm gonna start plating my dish here. Let's make sure we clean up our cutting board really nice. Okay, got my plate ready to go here. Okay. I'm gonna put down some of these beans I got over here. See if they stay in the mold here really nice. And you wanna kinda press them down. That way, when you take them all off, they kind of stay in one place. Okay. Now I got my little and this little vegetables here, you guys. Got my rabbit still nice and warm. We're gonna cut this. I gotta get a new knife. I don't wanna be using the same knife used to, you know, cut the raw meat. Okay. It's nice and moist in the center. And 
You see this little baby Rex here, okay? I'm gonna put some of the sauce down on the plate here. As you can see a nice uh, color in the meat, it's nice and moist. So, there you go. That's what you want. You don't want to overcook it because it... Okay. Now if you want to cut this uh, racks in half, you can, otherwise you can just put them right Lean them against the beans right here, something like that. Another one on the other side. I'm gonna add a little more sauce over here too. Okay. A little more here. Pick it up a little bit. Okay. There you go. See how easy that was? I got a little. Little time sprig. Little garnish there. All right. As you can see, it's very easy to do a dish like this. And you can, you know, save the, use these pieces, like make stew. And you can all, well, cook them all together. It's just whatever you want. But I just want to, I don't have a lot of time because I need to cook it for probably about an hour. To, because they're tougher cuts of meat, but this is really tender and it's really easy to cook. So I want to thank you for being here this morning. I'm sorry for all the trouble that you guys had this morning, but I guarantee you guys are going to like this much better. It's going to work better for us. And when you guys uh, ask your questions, I got speakers in here. Now I can hear you guys. So make sure that you guys uh, talk to me when, uh, and I can see you on the screen as well. So we're going to have a, a screen run in front of me to see all of you guys, you know, maybe next time, join us the next week. Uh, we're going to be able to see all of you guys on the monitor and I'm going to be, you know, I, you can interact with me and ask questions that way you don't have to type them in anymore. It's going to be much easier. But again, you know, I'm sorry for the short notice of this uh, new program, but it's going to work better for you. And uh, thank you very much for joining me this morning. I see you next week.